Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 125 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, we're going to talk about how you could customize the Lightroom workspace so it better suits you and your style. Now, this might be because you want to do this on purpose, but it might be because you accidentally did something to the workspace and you're missing something and you want it to you know, be back, whatever. You want it restored to the way it was. And what prompted me actually to do this video was that very thing. Someone posted to the Learn Photography with Anthony Morganti help group on Facebook, and that person mentioned that their bottom film strip is missing. And they were wondering why it was missing and how they could get it back. Well, I thought, I have covered this here and there in bits and pieces on various videos, and it would be good to have one video where I just show everything. So we're going to talk about how you could really customize this workspace and make it work for you. Now let's talk about these panels first. We have four panels, left, right, top, and bottom. And you can make the left and right panel disappear very simply by hitting the tab key on your keyboard. And you can make them reappear by hitting the tab key again. You can make all four panels go away by holding the shift key and then hitting the tab key. And you'll get rid of all four. Hold the shift key and hit the tab key again and they'll come back. Now you can get rid of the individual panel panels one by one very easily by clicking on these little triangles here. See there's one at the top, one on the left. But a quicker way, and, and you guys know by now I really prefer to do keyboard shortcuts, is there are keyboard shortcuts to get rid of all of them individually. And that's using the F keys. You could use the function keys. It's F5, F6, F7, and F8. And if you have dedicated function keys, just hit the F key involved. If you don't have dedicated function keys like I don't on my Mac, they share other functions. I have to hold the function key in when I hit the specific F key, meaning on my keyboard there is a key labeled function or FN. I have to hold that button in, then hit the appropriate F key. To get rid of that top panel, I would hold the function key in, then hit F5, and it gets rid of that top panel. Hit F5 again and it reappears. F6 gets rid of the bottom panel. Hit it again and it reappears. F7 is the left panel. And F8 is the right panel. So that's how you could get rid of all the um, panels individually or in groups of two or however you like to do it. Now, down here below the image, this right here is called the toolbar. And you could make that go away or come back by simply hitting the T key on your keyboard. T makes it go away, hit it T again, it comes back. Now, on the various modules on the left and or right panels, you'll have various tabs. And you could get rid of these if you'd like. Let's say you never use split toning ever. Just right click on any of them and you'll notice there's the list of them with a check mark to the left of each one. And I, do, I never use split toning, so I just click on it. It will remove the check mark, and you'll actually remove that tab. Now, this is an email I get all the time. People specifically miss their basic tab. It just disappeared on them. And that's somehow they inadvertently did this. So just right click on any of them, and whenever you're missing a check mark, just add it, and your tab will reappear. This also works up here at the top, if you find, let's say, you never use the book module ever, just right click on any of these and you'll see all the modules are listed and we could just remove the check mark next to the book module and now it's gone. You could make it reappear by just right clicking and doing it again. And again, that works on the left panel over here. You could see, let's say we never look at history, we could get rid of that history tab or we could make it reappear. Now, not only does it work on all these, you know, these tabs, the left, right, top, on the various modules, this also works on the import dialog. So if you're importing images on your import dialog, you'll see on the right hand side you have various tabs and these will change depending on uh, which mode you're in. If you're in add mode, you won't have very much there, but in, let's say, copy mode, you'll have a lot more. But let's say you just never rename files ever. You could right click here and you could get rid of file renaming. Or if you find it's missing and you don't know why, just right click on any of the other ones and then make sure that check mark is there. So you could do that with the import dialog on this right hand panel as well. Now, the other thing is if you're in grid view in the library module and to get to grid view 
is just hit the G key on your keyboard. Right up here, this is called the filter bar, and this is kind of a search bar, so you could search for images and things like that. And that could be gone accidentally if you inadvertently hit the forward slash key. See, you see it's gone. So we'll hit forward slash again, and it reappears. So that is how you could make that come and go. Now, let's, for the sake of argument, go back to the develop module. It doesn't really matter what module you're in, though. Let's say you just want to view the image, and you don't want the distraction of the other panels, but you don't want to hit shift tab. There's two different ways you could do this. You could hit the L key on your keyboard once, and it will dim everything around the image. Hit the L key on the keyboard again, and it will really black out everything around the image. Hit the L key again a third time, and it just is back to normal operation. Now, if you just want to view the image full screen and get rid of everything else, just hit the F key on your keyboard, and you'll see the image full screen. Hit the F key again, and you're back to normal. So that's it. Just some really quick ways using keyboard shortcuts that you could really manipulate the Lightroom workspace. And two things, maybe make it work better for you, the way you use Lightroom. Or if you're missing something and you don't know how that thing got missing, that's how you get it back. So that's it for episode 125. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.